naked, I can reassure you that I am not. I actually have a dress on, <laughs> just FYI before we get into this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. Sorry it's taken me so long to get something else out for you. I feel like I've been a little bit uninspired with YouTube. I'm like, I'm just gonna be 100% real. Um, I don't know, Instagram, I feel like I know what I wanna do and create. I, I always have a bit of a lull from, I would say, like January to about now when the weather starts getting better and i get back into the swing of things those like four months i'm a bit crap and i can totally take full responsibility so i want to apologize if you're a long-term viewer of mine and you're just like where has she gone like what's happened i promise you that my summer content is going to be good i have so many trips planned there's going to be so many vlogs i have loads of summer pieces that i'm going to share with you and i just want to get back into the swing of things i also will have a huge zara haul going live this week i was going to do a zara haul today but i kind of wanted to do something a bit different we did one recently so i thought let's do more of like a this is like a what's new in my wardrobe pieces i'm loving good summer staples, some spring bits. We've also got some stuff from ASOS that I did a reel with recently that I think you guys really liked. Like honestly, they have some beautiful pieces on ASOS. A couple of things from Mango. Everything in this video I bought myself, so, and same with Zara, but just if you're wanting a heads up. Hi and welcome back, I've missed you guys. I promise I'm coming back. Um, and I'm just sorry, I am sorry. I don't know what I've been doing. I really don't, I've just, I've just not been myself recently. Oh, that's a whole other story. I'm on this contraceptive pill. I, I'm just not vibing it. We're not friends. But that's literally for another video. Sit down, grab a glass of wine, grab a coffee, whatever floats your boat. I think it's bank holiday Sunday when this goes up. So I would grab myself a little Aperol. I would do it right now, but it's about 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So I'm not going to. But let's just rock and roll and get into this video. So if you're wondering what's happened to my face, I did that spray freckle thing. It, it didn't work for me. It worked for everyone else on TikTok, it didn't work for me. Let's dive straight in. I'm gonna talk through the pieces and I'll put some cutaway clips over the top. That's just how I'm gonna do this video, but let me know going forward what style is your favorite style of try-on. We're gonna start with ASOS because I think I just found pieces that are chef's kiss. Um, I honestly found some gorgeous stuff. So we'll start with this pink dress. I showed this again on a reel. On my Instagram, I will do a try-on clip of this. <gasps> this dress is the dress of dreams. It's quite short, as you guys can see. This is a piece from ASOS Lux. I'll link everything below. I grabbed this in a UK 10. The gingham, the colour, the cut, the big poofy off-the-shoulder sleeves, the giant obnoxious bow on the back. There is nothing about this that I don't love. Yes, I'm 26. Yes, I'm still going out in dresses like this. And I don't really care. Um, it's so beautiful. It's so a bit of me. I love summer spring clothes. I just feel like they're way more my style. I feel like I lose my style a bit in the winter. Um, my sort of girly feminine side. But it comes out in the summer and this is a beautiful item. I really recommend ASOS Lux. First time that I've bought quite a few pieces from them. And I'm so impressed with the quality. This is really nicely made. I don't know if I mentioned I did get this in a 10. It's a little bit on the shorter side. But I did want it to be like nice fitting and it definitely is so oh i love her i love her okay we're gonna put her there you guys will see her in the try on clip following on from that dress is like the dress of honestly dreams like when i posted this all of the comments on that reel were just like where's the white dress from like we need a link to the white dress so this again i got in a uk 10 i have sadly got a little bit of that sally hansen instant tan on it which i'm really mad at myself for because i think i want to wear this well my sorry i'm going on a tangent i know you guys just want to see the clothes but my besties are actually taking me to i think something like country music related next week for my birthday um it's like a belated birthday gift experience we've started doing experiences for gifts and i couldn't recommend it more and i think i want to wear this with some cowboy boots but this dress is stunning so it's kind of like asymmetric one piece goes off the shoulder the other piece goes over like this loads of layers it's super flattering because it has like a corset style with like a bustier top um, it's not boned or anything but it's just oh i tell a complete lie it's definitely got some plastic little bits in that corset and then it sticks out and it is just gorgeous i feel like this would have been really practical if they had done some little shorts underneath but i'm probably going to add just some little cycle shorts just so i feel a little bit more secure i feel like if i'm getting on the tube going into central london pff, the amount of sorry the amount of creeps and freaks that i seem to 
and I'm sure you guys seem to interact with like they just find you don't they so I'll definitely be adding some shorts under this but it's gorgeous, loads of tiered layers, so much fun. The perfect summer dress. Someone commented they're gonna get this for their hen, which I thought would be so nice. Um, if you're getting married, this would be like the perfect hen night out dress. It's just gorgeous. And she's coming with me to Santorini in May. Very excited, girls trip to Santorini. That is coming with me. Let's carry on with the stuff I got from ASOS and then I'll move on to some of the other brands. I got this dress, which I think I'm gonna return. It just doesn't do a lot for me. This is ASOS Design. I got it in a 10. I love the print. It's this yellow, very kind of like floral, girly, old granny print. And it's a wrap style dress, which I normally love. But something about the fit is very off. It's also really thin. Like, would be lovely and cool, but it's just like a little bit too thin and like not the best quality. So I think I'm going to return this. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, I love the print. It has the piece that you feed through to turn it into a wrap dress and I do love wrap dresses like they are so flattering they're so good if you want to feel like easy breezy and not like restrictive I'm just not sure I'm really not sure I feel like I maybe would have preferred it as a top this like pale yellow print is so pretty so a little bit gutted about that one but I'll show you it on nevertheless I've got this dress on now I actually don't have a bra and I literally just threw this on to film the video in again this is ASOS design I believe um it's like a crochet panel bit here and then it floats out super summery like i don't even know if i'd wear this in the uk i feel like this is more of like a beach cover-up oh if it was my car yeah i feel like this is a little bit more of a beach cover-up but i do really really like it the crochet is really good quality as well so kind of on the fence about it but um i'm gonna keep it for my summer holidays it's more of like a beach piece definitely not something that you could wear in the uk okay next up i have this in the style dress i haven't actually tried this on yet so i'd love to hear your thoughts i do really like some of the in the style pieces this i got in a uk 10 um a lot of these dresses i get in a 10 by the way i think just because i know they stick out in the areas that i would normally size up in so if like me you're like bigger on your hips i feel like you can get away with going a little bit smaller in dresses if you have a smaller chest area just because there's nothing restrictive about them it just comes in at your waist i love this big dramatic um billowy sleeve i just thought it was a really practical summer dress would look really nice with some white air forces some dunks a crop denim jacket some of my crochet cardigans. I just think it's like really, really pretty. Has all this little embroidered detail on it, which I love. And the quality of this is really nice from In The Style. I love In The Style. Like, I think you just have to kind of know what to shop and how to navigate their site. For me, Lorna Lux's edit has always been really good. There's somebody else's edit that I buy from. I've forgotten whose it is. But certain pieces are definitely better quality. But this is a really, really nice option. Again, it has that nice wrap you know it's not actually a wrap dress but it's giving the effect of a wrap dress um which i think is really nice i just love it i really really love this and i think this is something that i will wear a lot of in the summer in the uk next up i have a little bit more dramatic of a piece i feel like this is going to be really nice if you are graduating this year or maybe you're going to a summer wedding and it's a little bit more kind of slinky sexy vibes that you want um again i showed this in my reel and i wasn't sure but a lot of you were like no it's cute and now i've decided it's going to be cute i think i'm going to wear this with some flat sandals in like santorini or on my summer holiday um and just kind of try and dress it down but it's really pretty it has this cow neck design again this is from in the style i got this one in the uk 12 which i'm really happy about it goes like that which is so pretty really really pretty cow neckline and then it just goes all the way down into this long maxi dress so nice would look lovely with some like white accessories i feel in the summer um the back is like the showstopper so i'm not gonna be able to show it too well here but you guys will see on the try on it's all crisscross and like the whole back is sort of like open which i just think is really really pretty this color blue i love i'm such a fan of this like beautiful blue um and all the back being like open with those strappy ties i think is a really really nice detail so yes this is Another piece from In The Style, which I'm loving. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I had a couple of Nadine Murabi pieces that I don't have here. They're at my mum's, which is so annoying because I would have loved to have shown you that them. I got this beautiful blue dress and this pink mini skirt with feathers. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you'll see me wear them very soon. Moving on. This is a piece from Nasty Gal. I actually got sent this in PR, so... Um, I haven't actually ordered a nasty gown in a minute. I do want to because I'm seeing some really nice bits on there But this is from the Tara Maynard Nasty gown collection. I keep saying Tara May 
Tara Maynard, Nasty Gal Collection. Uh, I've met Tara before and she's so funny. If you don't follow her on Instagram, like do it now. It will be the best decision. She's just like entertaining. She's always having a glass of rose. She's my kind of girl, like she's very, very funny. Um, and I love her style. It's not like my style because I'm not brave enough, but she just looks so cool all the time. So her edit with Nasty Girls come up. They have some really lovely pieces and I picked this long fuchsia dress. Again, I thought on holiday it would be a really nice option, but also lovely, like I said, if you're doing grad, weddings, um, anything a bit formal, I think this would be really, really pretty. It has a super nice neckline, a little bit different with the spaghetti strap and then the thicker strap. The back is not open or anything, but it's just a really nice color. Um, and I always think color photographs really lovely in the summer. So I'm thinking of doing a wedding, not a wedding dress series, a wedding guest dress series where I pick some really nice maybe more expensive pieces like still have options like this for you guys but maybe I try out some of the more expensive stores that do those more formal dresses um because I just am very curious about what they've got in the stores at the moment and I feel like wedding season is now upon us especially because of the Finally, weddings seem to be happening quite normal at the moment. I have this cupboard. This is not really a bit of me. I actually think I'm going to return this. This is ASOS Design. Got the skirt in a 12. It's one of those like wrap skirts, which actually would be really cute, I think, on, on a particular person with a really nice like crochet bikini. Or if you want to pick out one of the colours, do like a yellow or a pink. That would be really pretty. It's nice and floaty, but I just don't feel like I'm going to get that much wear out of this. It does come with the matching top. Um, which I got in a UK 10. This is like a long sleeve tie in the middle style top. Again, really cute, has like a collar detail. It's very pretty, but it's it's just not really me. I think if I was gonna keep either item, because they actually sell these separately, which I do appreciate, means you can get the correct size in both. I'd probably keep the skirt and wear it with like some cute t-shirts and like trainers and just maybe try and make it a bit more practical. I don't know, it is quite open at the side though. Yeah, a little bit stuck on this one. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to return it. I was super drawn to the print, but I actually think it's a little bit young. And I don't mean young like saying I'm too old to wear it. I mean young as in like a little bit kid-like. I don't know if that I'm being a bit harsh there, but just keeping it real. Kind of silky satin fabric as well, if you're wondering. Right, I've got one more piece here. Is there only one more piece from ASOS? Yeah, I think only one more item from ASOS. It's a little strange. I don't know what to do about this. I am so stuck. I think this is a really pretty dress. I just don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's from a brand called Closet London. I got ugh, I got it in a UK 10. Oh, it is like a Cinderella dress. It's this baby blue puffball, silky satin pleated dress. And it is so well made. I really like this brand. The pleats are just give it like a really nice feminine vibe. I do love it. I'm just not sure when I'd wear, like, would you wear this to a wedding? Is this wedding appropriate? I guess it is. This would be actually really nice for the races. I'm not a big fan of the races because I love horses and I just find it a little bit cruel. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll go one day. Who knows? It's like a big thing here in the UK, isn't it? And it always looks like a laugh. Like, my friends go and they all get absolutely wasted. But, um... Yeah, I feel like this would be a really pretty dress actually for something like the races or a graduation. For me, I wore like a Sandro blue lace dress for my grad and it's just a little bit more, what's the word? Like covered, but I don't mean covered like modest or anything like that. I just mean instead of it being like a clubbing dress, I still look back on it and really like it. So I think that's something maybe to bear in mind if you're looking for grad dresses. I'd love to do a grad dress series, but have we got time? When are you graduating? Please, can you comment below and let me know when you're graduating? I could do next day delivery. I could do an order today for next day delivery and try and get that video out for Thursday and do like a really quick grad video if you if you guys are curious. But this is very, very pretty for something like graduation or a wedding. I do love it. I just hope I get the use and wear out of it. Really reminds me of like Freddie, my love, and like Josie and those kinds of girls. Okay, next up I have this. Oh my gosh, Mango has the nicest stuff in at the moment, guys. I was rushing around, I had an event, so I couldn't actually buy too much because I had to carry it with me. But I am gonna do an order online because honestly, their stuff is gorgeous. This blazer was $59.99. I actually got it in a large because even though, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I had a coffee and a bagel and I feel like I'm talking too quickly. Ugh. Anyway, I feel like I went for the large because I did want it to be a little bit more cool. I think because it is so sort of like, formal and a little bit 
grandma and a little bit like the queen i wanted to go for a size large so it just felt a little bit more edgy and cool but this is beautiful the color is so nice i feel like it looks really smart you can do it with a blouse underneath i just did it with a basic vest top and some really lovely high-waisted white trousers from mango i did end up spilling something down them when i came in I will link them below anyway they're really nice high-waisted white trousers which i just felt like for this time of year is so useful chloe rose styles up her sort of like white smart tailored trousers all the time and i just think how nice they look how classic they look on her um and you can then team them with loads of different tops and jackets honestly they have the nicest things in there they have this in orange they have a little tweed cord set in like a lemon in a pink I need to do an order. I need to do an order on Mango because their stuff is really, really lovely. I just love this. I love this jacket. This is like one of my favorite pieces actually. Obviously doesn't go with the dress that I've got on, but oh, it's so nice. It really is so, so nice. So chic. Um, I literally want to order it in every single color. Right, I've got a couple more bits that I do want to share with you at the end of this video, a little bit random, but I did make a bag purchase. I spoke about this on Instagram very briefly okay this is a oh my gosh i'm gonna get told off because i can't pronounce the brand correctly jacquemus jacquemus i've heard people say this so many different ways so it's confused me sorry if i'm offending anyone by not pronouncing the brand correctly i don't know why that would offend anyone it's really not that deep but i bought this bag i really like it i thought it was the bigger size i thought i ordered the bigger size because i thought that a 400 pound bag 400 pounds it was 397 i think or something like that would have been bigger so I assumed that I had bought the next size up. And then I was like getting my nails done and I was like, I've got this bad feeling that I've ordered the wrong size. It came, it was the wrong size. I was meant to return it. I went to Abu Dhabi, came home, forgot. Farfetch only have a 14 days return, which I just should have remembered. Um, and I didn't. So I cut the tag off because I would not have been able to return it. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to sell it for the amount that I bought it for, I don't think. So I thought, bloody use it and then sell it maybe at the end of this year. I do love it. I love the color. I love the bag. I just wish I'd got the next size up. I mean, honestly, guys, it doesn't fit anything in here. It fits a lipstick. So, but it is so cute. This color is beautiful, this green. They've brought out some gorgeous bags, loads of summery colors, some more practical sizes, really, really nice pieces. If you're wanting to get this bag, um, I think if you're one of those cool girls that layer bags, I've seen this quite a lot lately and I'm actually really liking the trend, then go for it. Or if you're someone that literally carries nothing, like if you just carry your phone and a lip gloss and maybe your house key, you'll be fine with it. But if you're someone that needs like a little bit more space, just get the next size up. I don't know what I was thinking. I should still have a code with Farfetch. I've seen a lot of people with a 15% off code. I'm going to email them on Tuesday and I'm going to get you, I'm going to make it my mission to try and get you guys that 15% off code. I want it for myself. So yeah i've just seen people with that code and i'm like 15 percent off and i think it's like 15 percent off for existing customers so i'm gonna try and get you guys that code but i think i do have one with farfetch so i'll link it below if it's not working because i'm gonna get this video out on sunday come back to this video on like thursday wednesday thursday i should have put the new code in the description box or dm me on instagram and i will also put it on instagram i will try and get you that code for next week we need a farfetch code for the summer talking of next up i bought two new swimsuits yeah two from hunza hunza g um i love this brand it's been around for a little while my mom said she always wore it in the 80s very cool swimsuits i have a lilac one making me feel the most confident at the moment so because of that reason i did buy two more they're expensive so yeah they are expensive um and a couple of brands have duped them now asos have definitely got some dupes but if you're someone that wants the original it, it is lovely the quality is second to none and the colors that they've brought out this year are beautiful so i did get a bikini everything is one size don't let that scare you like i know these look like they could fit a doll but like they literally look like they fit a dolly like i've bought them for my dolly but they stretch like they really 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 stretch so give it a go like don't be completely put off i told you the size but it's unfortunately one size which must mean that their turnover is crazy because they're manufacturing everything in one size crazy anyway oh i can't even tell you how much this was because it was actually so much money this swimsuit but it's really cute i'm not going to tell you if you want to know you'll look it up um i got this swimsuit because i just thought how cute in this bubblegum pink it has a tortoiseshell section here 
um, has a clasp at the top. I just really loved this so much on the skin. I thought it would be so pretty. These bottoms look nice and high waisted, which is what I really like. You can really sort of pull them up, which I just appreciate in a bikini nowadays i'm just someone that is never gonna rock the thong bikini i'm someone that's never gonna rock the string bikini at the side anymore i don't think i just i don't feel confident enough in it at the moment that could be a me issue that could just be an issue how i'm feeling at the moment with swimwear i feel like brands have got smaller and smaller and smaller with swimwear which is fine if you're confident and you feel good in that fat but i need something with a bit more coverage and i think that's why i'm falling in love with these bikinis and swimsuits this is the one piece Oh, this colour. So it's like this beautiful rich green that I'm loving at the moment. Um, I know this was around last year, but I'm just still loving it for this year. It has this cutout section, which I thought was really nice. And then this is the bottom. Again, you're going to get coverage on the bum. They're not like thong. They're still like a little bit cheeky, don't get me wrong. But they're not thong bikinis, which I just really appreciate. So yes, I also grabbed those two. Very naughty purchase, but I did want to reference them. Okay, guys, that is everything for my collective haul video asos in the style selfridges farfetch we've got a bit of everything going on i really hope you guys enjoyed please leave me a comment below let me know what content you want to see from me going forward do house updates i can do a zara haul this week if you guys want it i've got some really cute summary pieces from them um i've got vlogs coming loads coming i'm back on it i promise i'm committing so you can dm me very angry if you don't see regular uploads from me Okay, don't be too angry because I'm a little bit sensitive at the moment to mean comments, but we're going to roll with it. Have a great day. Love you guys so much and really appreciate you all sticking around. I really, really do. Thank you so much. Um, and make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'm a lot more, I post on there a lot more regularly. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you all in my next video.